Hello, good morning, afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is where you happen to be in the world. Welcome to another computer tutoring training session. This time we're at Power BI, as you can see from the screenshot here, and we're in particular going to look how to sort by month. So why would you want to sort by month in Power BI? Well, before date hierarchies were introduced, you had to sort by month. What do I mean by that? Well, um, if you want to fast forward to the proper point in the video, you can do so. But let me just show you what I mean. So if you um, say I've got my sales data, I've imported the sales data here. I'll provide the link for this here so you can muck around with it. Uh, I add myself a nice little matrix over here. That's great. I'll make it a little bigger. Let's just make it a little bigger. There we go. And then if I then drag date sold across and I go to values, I can drag this into... If I then drag date sold, make sure I've got my matrix selected, drag my date sold across, go into rows, I can then sort of drill down and it will go into quarters and months and it's all in nice in order. But say, for instance, I want to use a date table. OK, so let me just get rid of this one here. So what I mean by that, if I get some extra data, so I'm going to go and get data at the top. I'm going to get some Excel data uh, and I've got a calendar table here. So that information might have fiscal data with it, you know, other bits of information. In fact, if I tip dim calendar here, I should have a little zoom in option here. You can see all of the various options. I've got a month options and various ones in there. Okay. So I want to import that. So I click on load and the data loads. Okay. That's great. So you might think, great, excellent. So now what I'm going to do is I need to relate to this data. So I'm just going to go over to the left hand side. I really encourage you, if you haven't already done so, just to have a look at the um, creating a date table in Power BI and some other videos that talk about relationships as well. So let's just form that relationship. So I'm going to click on this here. And I've got a date. I've got a date key here I should really use, but I don't think I've got the same date key in this table here. So I'm just going to just make that a little bigger, see what I've got. I've got date sold. So if I relate date to date sold here for this table, got a one to one relationships because the data is not too solid. Uh, I want to change that from dim calendar from one to one to a one to many relationship cross, cross filter direction is both. OK, so just make sure the calendar is at the top just here. Sales is at the bottom here. OK, and then if you then go and make sure that the cross filter direction is both oh, and the cardinality is one to many, and you should be laughing. So let's click on OK. That's great. And if we go back to our visualization here, so let's try again, shall we, with the matrix? OK, so first things first, what I'm just going to do is I am going to click on this matrix here. I'm just going to make that a little bigger. And then now I've got the relationship here, so I can go to dim calendar. And I've got month and I want to have month, so I drag month across. But if I look, as you can see the details here, that the month is comes up in alphabetical order, April to September. So how do I stop that? Very simply, all I need to do is I click on month here in the date calendar over on the right hand side. So just click on the month there. OK, so just here. Great. And then what you can do, just move this up. Uh, uh, go to modeling here at the top. So it's up to the modeling tab just here. So click on modeling. And then go to the sort by drop down menu and sort it by month number. You'll need to create a month number. So I've redone that. If you've seen the uh, create a date or how to do a date table, then watch that video as well. So month number, and then you can see it's all organized. Excellent. So now I can then bring out years and do other uh, different types of calculation. But that basically is it. If you are using a date table as well, make, remember that you need to go and you need to mark your calendar table as a date table, as you can see at the top. If you haven't seen that before, please watch creating a date table video. There we go. So you can see uh, now I can use that date table and calculations to find year to date. And all that sort of thing, which we'll do on further videos. So watch this space. So there we go. That's how to sort by month. Uh, interesting enough, you can use this to sort by anything. I don't know if you noticed here, I've got weekday. Uh, let's just uh, get rid of uh, Weekday. Here we go, weekday here. So if I go here, drag weekday over to month, let's get rid of uh, month and I've got weekday here. So here's my weekday. But as you can see, let me just make it a little bigger. I'm just going to go to my formatting options and go to grid. I scroll down until I find text size. There we go. Let's make text size bigger. 
as you can pain, painfully see there, that Friday is at the top, Wednesday is at the bottom. Why is that? Well, it's alphabetically, you know, F, uh, G, H, I, B, J, K, M, and the S, T, W, it's alphabetically. So what I want to do is I want to sort weekday by week number. Yes, you've guessed how to do it. You can click on weekday over here on that uh, right hand side. It's just moving out of the way. So just click on make sure that weekday is selected just over here. OK, that's great. And then at the top, you can click on sort by column. So that's just at the top up here. So just make sure you click on sort by column and then you want it sorted by weekday number. So make sure you click on weekday number again down here weekday number great and it's sorted by weekday number how is it getting that data well if you look on make sure you've got dim data selected and then click on your data button just over here there we go uh, and you can see that i've got calculations it's quite simple to do you can do weekday and other calculations to work out the weekday number although the weekday number three is a wednesday so that's how you can sort by month that is how you can sort by weekday and you can sort by anything else. So if you need to sort by north, south, east, west, by uh, spring, summer, autumn, winter, all of these ways, you need to sort without a particular, you don't need to sort in alphabetical order, you need to sort it in another order. You can use the same method, the sort by column. I hope it's helped. If you've got anything out of this, give it a thumbs up. Say you like it, it's great. Subscribe and don't forget to tick that little bell as well so you get any new notifications. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you.